Hello everyone, I am Shadowhawk2012. This is my 250th video, Sonic the Hedgehog. I know it's the first cheat code I ever actually memorised. Um, we'll just play through Zone 1, but briefly I'll explain why I'm doing this. Yes, it is my 250th video. This is the first game I've ever owned for the first console I ever owned, the Sega Mega Drive. And I've just decided I'm going to do a quick let's play or let's review of some of the best games I've owned on this console because there are some brilliant games. Now, uh, where do we want to start? We'll start in the Green Hill Zone actually. We'll start things do things properly. However, I won't bother with anything continues because I'm useless at that. And I'll be just playing the game normally with three lives. As long as three lives are intact, I'll be playing. This is, as I've said, a brilliant, brilliant game. It's one of the earliest to come out of the Mega Drive, and actually, one of the best looking. And, yes, we're going to do that. And we're off. Level 1 completed, 32 seconds. Which is probably nowhere near the fastest time possible, but hey, we've done it anyway. Alright, on to the next one. Level 2. And now I've can, we're going to see me almost die here. Nope. That always seems to catch me out when I'm doing things normally. Okay, you're not going to... Ah, that was an error. Okay, speed across. <laughs> I'm making so many errors at this. an easy game. I'm not denying that, but I still shouldn't be nine rings on the second stage. That's awful. Okay, stage three. And now we're about to see whether I can roll properly. <laughs> okay, um, two lives left. And let's not do that again. Better. Right, we have rings. And we avoid the stupid little trap. And run into another one. This game has some very. Now, this is not how you're supposed to play this game. Oh well. Oh. I do love playing this game. Um, I keep finding it on sort of emulator packages, and, and it is one of the best games on the console. Yeah. This. Better. That wasn't good. Ah, I was trying to be clever, it didn't work. Oh well, one ring. And that's the Green Hill Zone finished. And now on to the second most difficult stage of Sonic the Hedgehog. Two lives left, six minutes on the clock. Yeah, I'm not going to do multiple videos of this, because everybody has played Sonic. Everybody knows how to play it, and certainly knows how to play it a lot better than I've been showing. I think not falling into lava, not triggering him off. I'm just not doing this properly, I don't think. Right, 40 rings, that should keep me alive for a bit. Get back into a room with this shield. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is the labyrinth zone of the two most difficult stages in my opinion. Quite aside from the fact you can't go speeding through this. And no, I won't be cheeky and just step on the button until it comes up. We'll use the block, like you're supposed to. Right, checkpoint, and then I'm shield. Not that helps me in any way, shape, or form. Right. Come on. It's a Sonic game, I'm supposed to go fast. Yeah. As you can tell, I really love the Sonic games. This probably the best example of it. Two I just don't think two looks as good as this. There? Nope, there's another level I'm thinking of. But no, honestly, three is the best looking. One is probably the best game, though. And I've lost a buttload of rings there. Whoops. One I also think is possibly the most difficult. Oh no, actually, the Sonic and Knuckles game I had real problems with. But yes, after Sonic and Knuckles. The series goes three-dimensional and doesn't work. I'm sorry, this is a 2D game. It should always be a 2D game. And one of the reasons I'm looking so much to Sonic 4 when it eventually comes out. It should be about speed, two-dimensional platforming, and speed. Now, will I be able to finish the Marble Zone before this happens? Okay, time to outrun some lava. That easy. What's the third stage of this that's re- I should learn to shut up. I should also learn to not push my luck a bit. Right, no rings. Right. Ah! No! Right, one life left, two minutes forty to go. Okay, I might be able to complete stage two in that time, but it's gonna take a lot. Nope, I'm gonna lose. Right, get some rings. As I said, I'll do this without continues because I'm not planning on completing this. Just planning on reviewing it, and yes, easily in my top five games on this console. Easily. Not just because it's the first one I played. Right. Let's see if we can get the speed up a bit. Right, 14 rings is enough. Let's just go. Right, there is a one up coming up, but we're not going to bother going for it, I don't think. Right. Okay, this takes a bit of doing, but we're going to do it anyway. Okay, go. go. Ow, I missed a jump! It's supposed to keep me tight. No, oh, whoops, that wasn't good. I can play this game, I really can. Fine. Two lives, I'm probably going to need it. I don't know what I'm even trying to do anymore. I can't play this game. Oh well, I was trying to be clever and jump all of Barrier's barriers because that would speed me up. But oh well. Since I kind of cheated in that in life, I'm just going to let this thing kill me. No! It is an awesome game. I wish I was slightly better at it. Because overall, I made far too many errors in this. I can claim I was trying to play it quickly, but you're supposed to play Sonic quickly. I'm sorry. In any case, this is Shadowhawk 2012. And if you haven't played this game... You haven't played this game, but you really should. Until the next video!